hello and welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how to use facebook login in our ios app that is to authenticate user using their facebook credentials for that we need to integrate facebook sdk into our app so let's start first of all open your browser and go to developer.facebook.com as shown here in the address bar so if you are prompted with login screen then please enter your facebook credentials and here we have docs mode my apps so it will list already created apps and then add new app so for that first we go to docs and here if we scroll down we have swift sdk so we will click it so here we have download the sdk for swift so if i click on it then it will navigate me to the github account and here we have facebook sdk dot swift and here there is the installation instructions so we can use cocoa ports install the cocoa ports so i will open terminal and we will follow the same steps cd we will change the directory to our root folder where our xcode project file is so here it is and now this is my folder path so I will drag it to my terminal and using cd command I will change the directory now here I will create a port file so port init and port file is created you can see here and now I have to open this open minus e port file and now I will go to browser and here they have three ports facebook core facebook login and facebook share so facebook login is used to authenticate user and share is used to share to facebook so we will copy these three ports and write down in our port file command s to save it command q and then open terminal and do port install so in the meantime when our ports are getting installed to our app let us create a new app and go to swift sdk here docs or you can say my app create a new app and here it's a display name so say demo login swift tutorial okay here you have to give your email address contact email id so create app id there is a security check and also here our ports are getting installed so it will take few minutes depending upon the speed of your internet connection and let's verify this security check and here i have to click on submit and our app is created so here there is add a product so this is our app id so we can set up or redox so facebook login setup and here our platform is ios so we will choose ios and here so these are the instruction for the objective c ports so we don't need these and let's ignore those because we are installing facebook sdk for swift and here we need to put bundle id so we will go to our project and copy this bundle id you can enter multiple bundle ids here 
say continue enable single sign on enable single sign on for your app by setting single sign in on to yes below so we launch from iOS notification so we don't need this so we will keep it as it is press next and here we need to configure our playlist so we will follow the instruction first right click info playlist and job choose open as source code so we first we copy this code go to our project and open dot playlist double click here open as source code and here it is so to enter and paste the code and now go to the instructions and now we need to copy these URL schemes too so code copied and we will go here and we will paste it here now open as property list and here you can see those ls URL schemes and facebook id display name etc etc added to our info.plist so here our ports are getting installed since my internet connection is a little slow so it will take a time so we will follow those remaining instruction in the meantime press next and here it shows how to use in objective c so we don't need these kind of instructions now so we will go to our facebook.xdk github page and here it shows how to use the facebook sdk for swift for facebook login and share so for facebook login we have login manager and login button we will use it into our project as soon as our ports are getting installed so let's see how much time is left so it's installing let's wait for a few minutes So our Facebook SDK Swift ports are successfully installed in our app. As you can see in your finder where your project is located, that Facebook login Swift.exe workspace. Facebook login Swift is my project name. So XE workspace file is created. And if you are using your Xcode project, then please close it and open Facebook login Swift or your project name.exe workspace. So here I already opened it in my Xcode. Now we are going to integrate Facebook login in our app using Facebook login SDK for Swift. So for that first we need to create an interface and where we are going to add a UI button. And for that we need to create an IB action. So we will create add that IB action function login with Facebook sender of type any and here it is our function is ready now we need to create the UI part so open main dot storyboard and here we will change the background color of this view to yellow one and drag a UI button to our view and we place it into the center of the screen also we will give it constants of width and height so height will be 50 and width will be 260 okay here it is also we will change the text color to white and background to blue so here text will be Facebook login and we will change the background color of our button to the blue one so here it is now we need to connect our IB action so double click on view controller and here we have received actions so we will connect our login with Facebook IB action to our button and associate it with touch up inside event of UI button. So now our interface is ready and now we need to implement coding part. So here we need to import Facebook core and then import Facebook login. Okay, If you can't find these then you have to first build your app using command build and then you can try to import it so now we need to use login so let 
manager is equals to in we have login manager class so we will login manager and now manager dot login with read permission or write permission so we will login with read permission so it's an array and here we have dot public profile and dot email okay view controller will be self and here we have result so it is of login result and the login result is uh, in name with error case so here you can see there is there are different cases success cancelled or failed so we need to implement those so here we will say switch result and here we have case dot cancelled and we will put break and we will print here that user cancelled user cancelled login process and the other is case dot failed so here we have let error and here we will print login failed with error is equals to error dot localized description and then break and finally we have granted permissions then let declined permissions and then let access token and here we will print our access token print access token is equals to our access Here it is access token so here we have our access token We are not using it you can either replace it with this so here we are written our code now it's time to run our code so we will run our code on iPhone 10 simulator and one more thing if you are creating your app with different account here and you are using to login with different account then you can't because this is status in development so either you need to make it on or you can use the test accounts by going here roles test user and here you can create a test user so uh, Facebook will create a template if Facebook account with this email ID you can change its password if you want here you can see you can change the password so that's what so let's use make it either you can make it public so confirm and now i can use any email address so let's run the app it's already running let's Click on Facebook login. So, if you want to use Facebook.com to sign in, 
let's continue and the pop-up come for facebook.com here it's a login to your facebook account to connect to demo login swift tutorial which was or which is our app name so here i will enter my email and password so here i entered my password now i tap on login and here it says that you previously logged in to demo login swift tutorial with facebook because i already tried this app so that's why it's asking whether i want to continue or skip or cancel this if you want if you are first user then it will ask for the permission that what permission is required so i will click on continue and here you can see that the token is printed right here X token with app ID is also given and authentication token is given so user ID is also given here for my reference so this is a small tutorial where you learn how to use Facebook login in your app and in next tutorial we will cover how to get profile information of the logged in user if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and please do share this video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please subscribe it as we are going to bring more tutorials on swift in ios app development lastly thanks for your support and thanks for watching bye for now